this summer I'll be kayaking from John O'Groats to Land's End. Name the top down kayak challenge. This is a 900 mile journey that should take about six weeks and, as you can see on the map, the route will take me on the sea, rivers and canals, including the famous Loch Ness. Working with Plan B Charity and Ocean Signal Limited, I'll be raising awareness about paddle sport safety. Kayaking, canoeing and paddleboarding are all brilliant and inexpensive ways to get on the water. The fresh sea air, the feeling of freedom, what a fantastic way to enjoy nature. Unfortunately, it's all too easy to venture onto the water without giving it any real thought. Many have gone paddling without even some basic training and lives have been needlessly lost. Do you understand how the tides work? Do you understand what effect wind has on the sea and you? Did you let somebody know where you were going, how long you might be, and did you let them know you had returned safely? There are a few other basic things to remember too. Do you have a drink to reduce the chance of dehydration? Have you brought any snacks with you to keep your energy levels up? And are you dressed appropriately for the water temperature? The sea is a dynamic place. Conditions can change quickly without warning. And if you were to get into trouble, would you be able to call for assistance? Mobile phone signals are often poor along the coast and smartphone screens don't really like wet fingers. VHF radios are better, but there is still a chance of limited reception. And if you did get hold of the rescue services, could you accurately describe where you are? Maybe you're not a kayaker. Maybe you love hiking. And if you're in the middle of a moor and injured yourself, could you call for assistance? A personal locator beacon uses a dedicated satellite network with coverage all over the planet. Your best chance of rescue is with this tiny lightweight device. You could also use the PLB in conjunction with an electronic flare. And that way your rescuers will have an even better chance of locating you. An electronic flare is also better for the environment compared to a conventional pyrotechnic flare. Outdoor activities are very important for our mental health and well-being, but things can easily go wrong. A few simple steps could make all the difference, yet without those steps, ultimately it's your family and friends who lose out. To find out more about the Top Down Kayak Challenge, Ocean Signal and Plan B Charity, follow the links in the description below and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell.